welcome so this is 49 a 7 and this is system energy in time we're gonna look at basically things like the kinetic energy and the spring potential energy of the oscillator as time passes and so if we have a look at this we can see that we can look and calculate either the uh, spring potential uh, over on this right hand side or we can calculate the kinetic energy over on the left hand side and basically the way we do it is we take for example a half mv squared well we know that um, v is minus a omega sine omega t so we know that the uh, kinetic energy is a half m minus a omega sine omega t squared and that gives us a half m omega squared a squared sine squared omega t and if we look on this other side we know that our spring potential energy is a half k x squared and that's going to be well x was a half was it was a cosine omega t so the spring potential is a half k and then we have a cos omega t squared and we've got to remember here that omega is equal to the square root of k over m and do another substitution so we say the spring potential is equal to one half m omega squared that's for our k okay K is m omega squared a cos omega t squared and when we work that out we get one half m omega squared a squared cosine squared omega t well that's interesting they both have a half in they both have m in they both have omega squared in they both have a squared in but they have a sine squared omega t and a cosine squared omega t and what was it cos theta plus sine theta cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one so clearly when you add these two guys together they they always gonna add up to the same amount it's gonna be um the, the total amount is going to be constant because that's your mechanical energy and we can take that so the maximum value of the uk is going to be this and the maximum value of the us is going to be that when the sine squared function equals one and when the cosine squared function equals one and if we remember that omega equals the square root of k over m then we end up with this mechanical energy term which is the total mechanical energy is a half k a squared now if we look up here we see that oh a half k x squared a half k x a squared it makes sense so we're just playing we like we like we did general physics one and now we're playing and we're seeing what can we figure out we got these skills what can we figure out so if we look at this a spring and block system oscillates with simple harmonic motion the kilogram the, the, the block is 4 kilograms so m is equal to 4 kilograms it's displaced 2 meters to the right from equilibrium so a is equal to 2 meters it's released when time t equals zero so it's well behaved the system has an angular frequency again omega is not mentioned you've got to know that the angular frequency is omega and what is the instantaneous potential energy so i want to find my u s at t is equal to 1.3 seconds so I say well let's have a look my US was equal to one half M a squared omega squared and it's going to be cosine squared omega t it's either cosine squared omega t or it's sine squared omega t and it's cosine squared omega t so we can say us is equal to one half the m is going to be four the a is two uh, sorry the uh, uh, yeah the a is two and we're going to be squaring that the omega is five and we're going to be squaring that and then we have cosine squared 
and the omega is 5 and the time is 1.3 so the US is equal to well 5 fives are 25 and 4 25s is 100 and 4 100s is 400 and a half of that is 200 so this is 200 cosine squared and 5 1s are 5 and 5 3s are 15 so that's 6.5 so again, I have to be in my uh, uh, radians. So let me get into radians. And then I'm going to turn around and say cosine of 6.5 is equal to 0.976. i got to square that. So that's 0.9537. And then multiply that by 200. And that's going to be 100, here we go, 190.7 rounds to 191 joules. So there we have it, at that instant in time. We basically took this thing and we released it. And we picked a certain instant and we said what's the spring potential we were out here somewhere we said what's the spring potential there and we were able to figure it out we we're at a certain time and then the next question is what's the total mechanical energy oh well I know that my total mechanical energy um is equal to one half k a squared and I know that my A, of course, I know is equal to 2. Oh, but I don't know what my K is. Hmm. So this is a two-step problem. So I know, okay, my omega squared is equal to K over M. So I know that my K is equal to omega squared M. So if I put these guys together, um is equal to one half omega squared m times a squared. So we have um is equal to one half. Our omega is, I'm, I'm going to look up here at the top, is five squared. Our mass, our mass is four kilograms, four, and then our amplitude is two, and that's going to be squared. So our um is going to equal one half. 25 times four is 100. 100 times uh, four is 400, which equals 200 joules, which is that guy. So, at all times, this oscillator has 200 joules of energy and it switches between points where it's got 200 joules of uh, 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 kinetic energy and no spring potential energy and points here where it has 200 joules of spring potential energy and no kinetic energy. And the top example picked a example like there and the second the, the bottom one picture example like that it, it's very encouraging that the uh, the instantaneous potential energy was uh, less than the uh, total mechanical energy that's for sure so there we have it